With just days left in President Trump's term, congressional Democrats are preparing to bring articles of impeachment against him as early as Monday. KPX 5's Devin Feely spoke with two Bay Area Congress members about the strategy, including one who prosecuted the president the last time. The remedies we have in front of us legally um, are impeachment or the 25th Amendment. Congressman Mark Desaunier joined a growing number of his Democratic colleagues and a handful of Republicans calling for the president to resign or be removed from office one way or another. He tried to overturn American democracy and install himself um, as the leader. And these people were willing to do his work. It would be historic for all of the wrong reasons for President Trump to face impeachment twice in the span of a single term. Democratic leaders have drafted an article of impeachment incitement to insurrection for the president's role in egging on the rioters who stormed the Capitol Wednesday. I think it's very clear that the president uh, incited this violence. Representative Zoe Lofgren was one of the House managers who prosecuted the case against the president in the first impeachment. A second one, she says, may be necessary to keep an increasingly erratic and isolated president in check in his final days in office. And if we impeach him, that is something that Mitch McConnell has in his pocket that he can threaten him with uh, if he needs to. Democrats had favored a removal of the president via the 25th Amendment and a majority vote of his cabinet. But political analysts say that prospect is unlikely, especially given several high-profile departures from the cabinet in recent days. They are so fearful of going one way or the other that they're actually stepping away just days before their term of office ends. Devin Feely, KPIX 5. Tonight, President-elect Joe Biden says he is leaving the impeachment question up to Congress. Look, I, uh, I've thought for a long, long time that President Trump wasn't fit to hold the job. What the Congress decides to do is, uh, is for them to decide. Meanwhile, the president and the president-elect do appear to have found some common ground on one issue, the upcoming inauguration. One of the few things he and I have ever agreed on. It's a good thing I'm not showing up. What about the vice president? He's welcome. I think it's important that um, the, as much as we can stick to what have been the historical precedents of how and the circumstances in which an administration changes should be maintained. Now, some congressional Republicans have also signaled that impeachment is something that they would consider, but with just over 10 days before the White House changes hands, some say there's simply not enough time. I've got enough decisions to make about things that can happen rather than to spend time on things that can't happen. I believe the, pre the president has disregarded his oath of office. What he did was wicked. Some say impeachment is more about the message that it sends than depriving the president of a few days in office. And it would also disqualify him from holding any federal office in the future. We have some new photos of the aftermath of the attack on the Capitol. You can see broken frames, desks completely broken apart, leftover debris and posters, and also shattered windows. Even with all the damage, Congress still returned Wednesday night to officially certify President-elect Joe Biden's victory.